Maximizing editor groups in VS Code makes the currently active editor expand to take up as much space as possible, giving you the best view of your code. The Maximize editor also updates as you switch between different editor groups. Let's take a look at this in action. So here you can see that I have two editors open, each in their own editor group, so one on the left, one on the right. Now, if I want more space for the file that I'm currently working in, I can go and maximize my current editor group. So I'm going to open the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p and run Maximize. So I want the View Maximize Editor Group command here. And when I run this, the editor group that I'm currently in is going to expand to have as much space as possible without actually getting rid of the editor group on the right over here. So you can see that now I have a much more space for actually working in the current file. Now, the unique thing about a Maximize Editor Group, though, is that the Maximize Group actually will change as you switch between editor groups. So watch what happens as I go and click over on the file on the right-hand side here. So I'm going to go click on terminal.ts on the right-hand side. And just by clicking over to this other editor, the Maximize Editor Group has switched. And now the editor on the right-hand side has been maximized, and the one on the left side has been collapsed down to the smallest width possible. This editor maximization will now happen automatically as I switch between these two editors. To stop this behavior, all you have to do is go and resize the editors yourself. So it can go in here and just resize things a little bit. And now that maximization is no longer happening. I can also go and double click on the slash here to go and make the two editors equal size. So that's how you can use the command palette to maximize editor groups, but you can also do the same just by clicking and dragging. So I'm going to go to the sash between my two editors here and start clicking and dragging. And I'm going to drag as far right as possible in this case until I can no longer drag the editor any further. Now when I let up the mouse, I've created a maximized editor group. So this editor group is currently maximized. And watch what happens as I click over on the file on the right-hand side. Now this editor group has become maximized. It's the same behavior that we had before, just created by clicking and dragging instead of by running that command. Again, if you're wanting to stop this behavior, all you have to do is resize the editor group yourself. So I can go and resize this, or just double click to make the two editor groups in equal size again. So that's a look at maximized editor groups in VS Code.